it used to be we saw single, married, um, maybe living with someone as statuses when people asked about, you know, what a person was. Well, a new term that many millennials are really feeling close to is called self-partnered. Emma Watson was the first person that came out and actually declared herself as self-partnered. The idea behind self-partnered is for people who feel as though getting married or being with someone has become an achievement and they don't look at it like that. They already feel like they are a whole person and so their goal isn't necessarily to join with another person but to take care of themselves and continue their own self-growth so that they can continue giving to life, living life, and feeling good about life. It's actually a healthy thing. And I think the need for it is because so much pressure is put on single people, like the next big goal is to get married, and that is not the goal. But if you are a single person and you do want to be with someone, and then you're just waiting around and feeling bad about it, I think there is some pressure that's put on people like that because basically the other person can see it. They see you're lonely. They see you're looking for someone. So maybe what the idea or what the, the real encouragement we should take from being self-partnered is not so much what the word is, but more that it's looking at reinforcing and really understating the importance of getting to be a full person with or without another person. You don't need another person. Another person is not your status. Your status is in your ability to connect with others, to serve others, and to feel good about the meaning in your life, to feel like your life has a purpose. So whether you're self-partnered, or single or whatever you are, make it about becoming a whole person. Because as a psychologist, I can tell you the number one, the number one problem in all relationships isn't that you know someone was self-partnered or someone was single before they were married or married before they got married. It's that they never took responsibility for being a full person. They never left their home or left their other marriage or left a part, another girlfriend or boyfriend without joining on with someone else. So I think it's wise to take some time to reinvest in yourself, invest in your self-care and make it a better life for the person you may want to join or that you may not want to join, that you may want to just have a single meaningful life. Good luck to you.